Welcome to Butterfly Spanish. Hola, me llamo Ana, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to order in a restaurant. Okay, and I do this because a lot of tourists go on vacation everywhere, and sometimes they don't know how to order in Spanish. And even though they can get through it with like a little bit of English here, a little bit of English there, a little bit of Spanish. I want you to be able to order in Spanish and get what you want. So we're going to start and we're going to start with the drinks. Because usually a server asks first for what would you like to drink or are you ready to order? And sometimes most people order drinks first. So a server might ask you, ¿Qué va you a tomar? But maybe she or he sees a group and she's going to say que van because it's you plural, right? Que van a tomar. Okay, now this is one way this server might ask, like this is a way of asking what would you like to drink. There's plenty of ways to ask what would you like to drink in Spanish. But this is a very popular one and you can hear like the verb tomar to drink. Okay, so then you have a clue. Oh, drinks first, right? ¿Qué va a tomar? Oh, ¿qué van a tomar? Okay. And then you're going to go to the answer. And you're going to say, Quiero una botella de agua. I, this, the translation would be like, I would like a bottle of water. Now, if you see, the verb quiero, from querer, it's not I would like literally, but in Spanish we use the verb querer to order. We don't usually use the verb me gustaría, which is literally I would like, right? And in English, if you say I want a bottle of water, people might think you're rude, you're being rude, but in Spanish they, they don't think that because after saying this, you're going to say, por favor, okay? So just remember, generally, we use the verb querer to order instead of, it's like to want and not I would like to, okay? So you can say, I would like a bottle of water, which is quiero una botella de agua, or I would like a coffee, quiero un café. Maybe you want a coffee with milk. Quiero un café con leche. Maybe you would like a glass of wine. Quiero una copa de vino. Now, this glass, right? Glass could be vaso too. But when you're talking about wine, you always say copa, not un vaso de vino. A glass of wine is specifically... Una copa de vino. Could be red. Tinto. Red. Tinto. No rojo. In Spanish is tinto. Una copa de vino. Tinto. Like my shirt. <laughs> oh, I would like a glass of white wine. Quiero una copa de vino blanco. Por favor. Okay? Always adding por favor. It would be nice. Maybe you don't feel like having alcohol that day and it's better to have an orange juice. And you can say, quiero un jugo, jugo juice de naranja, which is literally like juice of orange, orange juice. Jugo de naranja, but it could be uh, jugo de manzana or the fruit you like, okay? And the fruit that is on the drinks menu, of course. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the next, and that's the like that that shouldn't go wrong <laughs> because it's what you're gonna eat. So, what would you like to eat? ¿Qué va a comer? Or what would you guys like to eat? ¿Qué van a comer? Okay. So the answer would be quiero the verb in first person yo quiero yo quiero from querer, okay? And then you say whatever is on the menu to make it easy. Quiero uh, huevos rancheros, right? Or quiero tacos 
de pollo. Whatever you feel like having. Maybe a hamburguesa, right? Quiero and what you would like to pick from the menu. The verb querer. And then at the end, por favor. Okay, next one. Then you imagine that you all, you're, you're finished. You're full. You're finished. Now you need to pay. How do you ask for the bill? So there's two ways. If you're in a restaurant, sitting restaurant, you might, like, you have to ask your server, la cuenta, por favor. You don't say, me gustaría la cuenta. I would like the bill. You just say, la cuenta, por favor. She brings, or he brings the bill. La cuenta, por favor. This is bill. Okay? The bill, please. Sure. But if you're not in a sitting restaurant, it's like a, more like informal ambience and you just want to pay, you can just ask the server, how much is it? Which is, ¿cuánto es? ¿Cuánto es? How much is it? Okay? And then, do not forget to leave a tip. Propina. Okay? Don't forget to leave a tip. That's not nice. Now, I already told you all this with quiero and deber querer, but there is a way, and I find it's the best way, but you have to follow some rules for this way I'm going to teach you. If you're not alone, if you're with more people, at least one more, if you're more than one, two, three, four, because they are going to order two, okay? Instead of quiero, you, are going to say para mí, which is literally for me. And I know in English, like I don't think a person would say, oh, for me, that's not like the common way of ordering food. But in Spanish, it is and it works. It's just like you can, if you're alone and you're ordering and you say para mí, it's like, <laughs> para mí, <laughs> who's the other person <laughs> next to you, right? <laughs> that's not right. So you just have to say, para mí, okay? Maybe you want to be nice or your friend doesn't want to order and you can say para él, for him, or para ella, if you're going to place his or her order, okay? So this is a very good way. Just remember, it has to be more than one, okay? More than one, para mí. And then you order whatever is from the list, from the menu, para mí, para él, Para ella, okay? Now, a lot of people orders like this. Me gustaría un vaso de vino. And I, I, I don't think that's incorrect. It's just, it's a literal, literal translation of I would like. But in Spanish, it's not um, an idiomatic expression. Most Spanish speakers don't say it, don't, don't say, it, don't order like that. Like, me gustaría un vaso de vino. People do that because of, I would like to, but it's not idiomatic. So I think you should use either quiero, if it's you. Most of all, if you're alone and you say quiero, and if it's more than one, you should say para mí, and it sounds very natural, okay? And then always say por favor and gracias. And gracias for watching this lesson. I hope you learned and if you have any questions, just type your questions on my channel and I'll get back to you as soon as I get a chance. Uh, thanks for watching my lesson and don't for lessons and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Butterfly Spanish. Adios amigos. Buena suerte.